I'm tired of walking in the mud. Keeping both feet on the ground. Don't know why I had to cry. Trying to find the reasons why. Problems everywhere I turn. I can never get ahead. Can't call this life that I'm living. You know I might as well be dead. Gotta get me some altitude. Gotta get me some altitude. Well, I don't think that James figured out how to negotiate the system. By, by systems, what I mean is success, regardless of how we choose to define it, comes down to being able to negotiate the circumstances in your environment so that it works out the way that you want it to work out. It doesn't matter what it is that you do. You could be a crook, you could be a minister, you can be a teacher. See, the point is, success as defined by that person is going to largely depend on their ability to negotiate those circumstances. And I don't think he ever really figured that out. I mean, for himself. In New Orleans, he's in the pantheon of drummers that started with people like Edward Blackwell, Smokey Johnson, June Gardner, and Earl Palmer, and Weedy Morris, and James Black. We're all being influenced by each other and the things we see and hear, but it's how it's transmuted through you. And he could get it sometimes. And that's rare, because most people never get it. They can be extremely talented, but they never have something pass through them, and it comes out other than how it entered. And he could pull that off. What makes him an inspiration to me is that power, that energy, that intensity, and the way it's all wrapped up. It was something to behold. And to me, that's what a jazz musician is supposed to be, is someone who is open to new ideas, who is constantly growing. I don't think he was ever satisfied with anything he did. I think he always saw the potential to do better and strive for it and never stopped right up to the last minute. Now that we're all older, I wish he was around so I could play with him now, for sure. The Guardian of the Groove, New Orleans drummer and composer James Black, was written, produced, and edited by David Cunian for Jack B. Productions at the Center for Gulf Coast History and Culture in 2003 and 2004. The producer would like to thank Harold Baptiste, Renee Bigelow, Sherwood Collins, Fred Goodrich, Dwayne Brashears, Damon Jacob, and everyone at WWOZ FM New Orleans. Billy Dell, Lola's Eli, Patrice Fisher, Dennis Fomento, Sylvester Francis, Doug Jackson, Josh Jackson, Benny Jones, Porgy Jones, Lois Stephen, and Andrew Cunian. Walker Lassiter and everyone at the Louisiana Endowment for the Humanities. Sherry McAdams and everyone at Marcellus Music. Ellis Marcellus. Rhonda Miller. Chap Munger. Piety Street Studios. Dr. Bruce Rayburn. Herlin Riley. Larry Siebert. William Taylor. Kalamu Yasalam. And finally, the inspiration and greatness of James Black's music and life. This program is funded under a grant from the Louisiana Endowment for the Humanities, the state affiliate of the National Endowment for the Humanities. My name is Chuck Seiler. I've been your host. Thank you for listening and supporting your local radio stations. There was a guy named Fred Kemp, and he and James were tight, and Fred had cancer. And doctors had just come in the room and said, Mr. Kemp, we've done all we can do for you. And it was Charles Neville and Herman Ernest. And Herman Ernest says, I don't know where you're going, Fred, but if you see James Black there, could you get my 150 bucks he owes me? Mm-hmm.